Hey Simleys, it's Deligracy here with part 41 of Let's Play The Sims for Twins. Uh, we left off with Alexander, Goth and Laurie flirting up a storm and uh, having a little bit of a woohoo sesh. So I thought, I actually said in the last part I'd give him a makeover off camera, but I've decided we're just going to quickly do it uh, playing in his family in this part. So we're going to say Laurie's going to give him a makeover to make him appropriate or good looking enough for her to to date. Because she's probably like feeling a, a little bit insecure. She kind of feels like uh, her life's been crazy. She's lost her fortune. She's like... Well, this is a guy who likes me, he's wealthy, let's just see if I can make this work. But I almost feel like she's not completely, uh, not completely convinced. He's, uh... He's not the most handsome guy, like, his good looks aren't his thing. But, you know, we can work with him a bit. I guess, uh... What would she do? What would she do? What would she do? Maybe he could grow a little bit of stubble? <laughs> Make him look a little bit manly, <laughs> or a little bit more manly, perhaps. I don't know. Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't think I'm into the stubble look for him. It would be good if his <laughs> his eyebrows, his eyebrows suited uh, his hair for starters. We could give him a beanie. That would be cute. I think that's something Laurie would do. Uh, could give him a bit of a. Haircut too, bit of the mohawk look. Short on the sides, long on the top, maybe. This haircut's nice. It's cute. Also, if you can hear a little bit of background noise, oh, not that haircut. Uh, it's because my window's open. It's been a really nice day today, and I wanted to let some fresh air in. So, if you can hear cars zooming past, that's why. And I hope you guys have had a really good weekend, or if it's not the weekend for you when this or not the end of the weekend for you, then I hope. Actually, this is going to be released on Thursdays because Thursdays are twins days and I'm recording it now on a Sunday because I'm going to Noosa this week. So I'll be in Noosa right now. Um, so that's silly of me, of course, for most of you it won't be the weekend, but if it is, I hope you have a nice one. Also, hashtag twins tea time. I hope you guys have your tea or a beverage there. I'm going to take a sip of mine. Mm, cheers. Alright, let's get him a little beanie. Beanies are cute. And uh, he's pretty built, actually. Maybe... Oh, wait, that's his pyjamas. Whoops. Whoopsie daisies. What hair did we give him? I've already forgotten. Let's go for this one, because I, I quite like that, personally. Go back up to his beanie over here. Let's go the red one. Uh, let's see. A bit of a button-up shirt. Nah, it doesn't quite suit him, does it? I love these plain jumpers. I think they're pretty rad. Wow. No one would recognize Alexander Goth in that. That's cool, but that's kind... That's actually... Uh... Not what we want, because we don't want to steal someone else's outfit. What about just a basic tank like this? He's goth though, so I feel like he needs to be in black. And uh, we could get him some shorts. Or jeans. Mm, not that keen on these ones. Uh, I think we do need to keep the all black theme because he is Alexander Goth and I don't want to ruin his character that much <laughs> or change his character that much. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm loving this music. All right, we'll just go with shorts. We'll go with shorts and then we'll go with some nice shoes. Just some... Yeah. red ones to match his beanie. Nice one. <laughs> Not a bad makeover on Laurie's behalf. Give him a second outfit too, so he doesn't always wear the same thing. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, maybe we could go with, hmm. Not that huge on that. I like the plain clothes. 
like a guy who works plain clothes. Uh, but we are a little bit restricted by his black color palette. Maybe he's just like a real singlet kind of guy. Like he's all about being like buff and fit and being like, yes. <laughs> Since he's uh, been made a little bit more badass through Laurie. Mm, that's not quite it. Let's just go with jeans. I just, I still don't feel like that really is working. No, 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 no. What about this? Mm, not ideal. We'll go with these. These uh, remind me of Surfer Boys a lot. Uh, a lot of Surfer Boys wear these kind of tight jean pants, usually in blue though, around the place. I keep going back to that denim -y shirt. Go a jacket. Mm, let's just go this. I haven't I haven't used this on a sim for a while since really I got the game to begin with. So let's do this. Take off the beanie for this uh for this outfit. Oh, I don't know, you guys. I'm not. I don't reckon I'm feeling it, and I don't reckon you guys are feeling that either. Just got the feeling. We'll just go with that. All right, all right, all right. I won't spend any more time on it. <laughs> Okie dokie. So a lot of you guys were saying in the last part that the volume was super loud, the gameplay. I'm really sorry about that. That was an issue in editing that I don't usually have. My game volume changed um, from my default without me realizing. So usually I don't actually edit my sound at all other than I always edit my voice. My voice always goes up by 5%, but yeah. All right, let's get into your new outfit, everyday one. Oh yeah, these guys are like the power couple now. Let's have a kiss. Be enticing. And uh, a lot of you guys want her to have a baby with Alexander Goth, so I'm thinking we do that. He's not going to propose because I don't have a high enough friendship. But uh, things are getting pretty uh, hot and heavy and this is not a good time. She does not really want to have a baby with him, but they could make a mistake. They could get a little carried away about his makeover. She'd be like... Oh, all right, let's uh, let's take things to the bedroom. Which bedroom? Ooh, what? In the parents' bedroom? Stop it. Oh, no, this is awful. I love watching Sims Woohoo. I don't know why. It's just so funny how watching the graphics move. Look at the pattern on the bed. It's like, it's so funny. It, the stretches and it's like an animation well it is an animation Ugh. whatever uh, <laughs> anyways so I don't reckon we'll see if she's pregnant just yet I think we'll wait to see if she has any I suppose any morning sickness because I think whoa whoa because I want this to be a mistake like this isn't something that the plans to happen you know Laurie definitely didn't plan this. This was excitement of the makeover. <laughs> oh dear. Um, but uh, we might blow a kiss and then, you know what? I think we'll jump into Laurie's house right now. Alrighty, so I've just switched to Laurie's family. So we'll just get her to go home now, I think. Um, she'll just do the walk of shame. Which is always pretty awkward. Uh, hopefully, I don't think she's going to run into anyone, so that's good. Oh no! Oh, 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 oh! That was close. Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh dear! 
It's like she's trying not to be seen by Cassandra and it's going to be this awkward goodbye. <laughs> hey, don't mind me. Oh my gosh. Walking of shame. Is he just... Oh, Thorn. I was like, who is that? Thorn Lofton. We should get him to go home too. Um, yeah. Yeah. Let's, uh, switch controls, Laurie. And I, uh, I think she's at the park or something, so. Um, yeah. Need to have another sip of my tea. Mm -mm -mm. I was given a beautiful tea at my Melbourne meetup, which I still haven't tried, uh, because it's at my parents' house, so I have to... I have to wait and get excited for that. Oh my gosh, she's in such a good mood. What? <laughs> what? So it's 10 o'clock at night. I wonder if we could invite Eric over. Should we invite Eric over for a booby call? I don't know. Can we? Can we do that? I think it's getting too late now anyway. Um, Arya's definitely looking a little bit more mature these days. But to hang out at current lot. Although I feel like she'd be really embarrassed to invite him over as well. But then he knew her before she was broke, so... You know. I think it's okay. Alright, Thorn, let's get you to... Uh, let's see. Let's get him to cook a girl, gourmet meal. A black and white cake. Why not? Who doesn't love baking cakes? So you can have a little bit of a chin wag. What do not mourn Esmeralda? You do not like Esmeralda. Where's Eric? Eric. Oh, Eric, honey buns. Oh, I cancelled it, didn't I? That's all right. I wouldn't mind. Uh, oh, we need to feed the cow plant. Uh, I w milkshake. Sorry, does it have a name? I wouldn't mind uh, Arya getting a little bit of exercise. I think we should maybe go for a bit of a jog. We do want her to get healthy and feeling good. Uh, yep. Yeah. So Thorn's just cooking up the storm. Laurie, I feel like Laurie maybe would call... Let's give Bryce a call. She's not romantically into Bryce. But I have a feeling he's, oh, he's sleeping, whoops. I have a feeling he's a little bit more into her than she is into him. What can we do for work? Reach level three, mischief skill, daily task, and mischievous interactions. Uh, is there anything we can do? We can trick people around the house. Gosh, about partner. Uh, well, oh no, we don't want to do, oh, I'm sorry. No, I don't. I didn't want to do anything mean just then. Oh, he's got a little bit of a tum-tum happening, just like his dad. Oh, so sweet. Mischief. Uh, pickpocket. She's just testing her skills. She wouldn't really want to be mean to him. Actually, you know what? We should get her to go pickpocketing at a venue. <gasps> Because she's trying to get extra money for them. You know what? And we should hack into a computer or something. Excellent quality. Oh, he didn't like that. Maybe let's just get him to keep. Look who it is. <gasps> Esmeralda's in her like formal wear dress. What? Oh my gosh. That is creepy. Laurie, get out of there. I do not want her near him. What time does she have work though? She has work soon. Oh no, in two days. That's cool. Let's travel. We'll just, we just do not want to be around Esmeralda. We should really release Esmeralda to the Neverworlds. Whoa, look at him go. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's go. Where would people, where would Sims hang out who have a lot of cash, cash, McMola? Hmm. 
Let's go here. Let's go to the Rattlesnake Bar because I feel like Oasis Springs is a little bit like Palm Springs and aren't. Isn't Palm Springs quite an affluent place in the US? I could be wrong. It's just because I always see it on trash TV like um, The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. <laughs> so it's probably a massive generalization, but I'm actually not sure. Alrighty. Let's see. Just hello, Deanna. <laughs> we'll just say hello to you. All right, well, we know we don't like Jace, so why don't we try and do some uh, mischievous <laughs> pickpocket? So oh, people oh, might get so suspicious. Oh, well, let's just be rude to him anyway, because we don't really care about him. Ah, oh, Kendall Jen is here. <laughs> All right, we just want to get this mischievous interaction up, so... Uh, we can get that career up, be earning a little bit more money. Noxious Cloud. Maybe we can claim to be a criminal mastermind. Oh! Pff. Ew! Noobs, noobs! He's like, no, don't do that! Oh, she thinks it's so funny. Pretend to be slapped. I do want to see this. Gosh, she's so evil. <laughs> I didn't get that. She, he did slap her. She didn't pretend to be slapped. She's feeling pretty confident. Maybe describe apocalypse. And uh, we can't pickpocket again. Arva and Finta. <laughs> She's very good at what she does. She's the perfect criminal. We should get her more tattoos, actually. I wonder if we can get a tattoo while we're here. Oh, that's what I should build. I should build a tattoo parlor. I'm going to add that to my list right now. Build tattoo parlor. There we go. Add it to my... For every LP to keep up with the last part, I actually, um, like, write a list of what's happened in the LP for that part. So then before I record the next part, I can look at key comments uh, that you guys have left. And yeah, that's pretty much how it works if you want to know what my little tricks are as a YouTuber. Um, that's a good one. If you guys are new to making videos, it's good to write down where you left off because it's really awkward when you repeat something in LP and people are like, but you already did that or maybe there's already been a first kiss and you think you're giving them their first kiss you know what I mean like you don't, you don't wanna you don't wanna get into that awkiness <laughs> no you don't Esmeralda what are you doing you know what let's just yell at oh my gosh so she's made thorn cry <sighs> she's such a tool he's sad Sad words. You know what, Laurie? You go beat her up. You can't eat a meal. She's like, how dare you come into this house, freak us out, like, leave. Fight. Fight. How weird is that, fighting a ghost? That would be really hard to hit a ghost. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, cook another gourmet meal. We've just got to keep cooking. His skill must be uh, definitely developing, right? It's five for cooking, two for gourmet, and we need to get them both to ten. So we've just got to keep doing this consistently. Did we win? Oh, yeah, she won. She won. Oh, yeah, Loza. So weird how she steams. Oh, Arya's back. She's feeling sad. Oh, gosh. It's such a hard life for these guys. I mean, really, it's it's a difficult time for them. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just want her to go. Ask for a small loan. Do we have any friends that we could ask for a small loan? Let's actually claim this bed. Who do we know who has a lot of money? 
Oh, maybe that's Laurie's deal with Alexander Goth. Maybe she's kind of seducing him for money, which is similar to what happened to her dad. Um, but in any case, it's 4 a.m., so I reckon we get these these guys to bed. Uh, he's actually legit hungry, so he might have some fruitcake after that. He must really dislike having his mom there right now. Take a piece. Excellent quality, of course. I don't know, do you guys think, like, what do you guys think is going on with Thorne and Esmeralda? Like, do you think they do have a relationship? Do you think he misses his mother? Or do you think he would absolutely hate her for what she has done? Or maybe she's so manipulative as a ghost, she's like, you should bring me back to life as well. Maybe that's what she's trying to do. Perhaps. Which is pretty sneaky stuff. I'm going to speed this up a bit. I just really want him to get that cooking skill up. Ugh, of course, she would go haunt things. Typical Essie. You broke our thing and she knows we're broke. <sighs> She's probably like, Thorn, you need to get the money back. You need to get the fortune back. Go marry Maya. Or go kill Maya or something like that probably what she's telling him um let's cook it one more gourmet meal before we go to bed because we just want to keep developing the skill uh spinach frittata herb crusted salmon sounds good oh we don't have what we need okay we garlic noodles can't go wrong with that the annoying thing is, I don't think we have the money to be able to replace... Oh, replace for $60. That's not too bad, actually. We can, we can afford that. We can totes afford that. Uh, we might... How's she feeling? Aggravating. She's not feeling sick at all, Laurie, so she might not be pregnant. Might have not... Uh, may have not worked on her. Let's get him to use the toilet. In we go. She's still hanging around. She's so annoying. <laughs> All right, let's get Laurie up. Uh, we'll get her to not resume. Let's open. There must be so much food in here. Let's grab a serving of that. Uh, Aria, let's. Does she have work today? Work in three days. Okay. Oh, great. So she is so close to getting a promotion we should probably go to work with her next time uh let's invite eric over she's really hustling him i reckon she's telling him the only way to get money back is to marry maya and you know what i think that's going to be an interesting storyline because he will probably I can imagine him probably actually falling forever at the same time maybe she finds out about this plan that Esmeralda had for him and then it's like, what are you doing? And then these girls would be like, why are you falling in love with her when her family took our fortune? So now he's talking to Lionel and he's like, Lionel, what should I do? Esmeralda's still creeping around because she's an absolute creeper. Like, oh. I should really get going now. Yeah, you should, Ezzy. You should. Alrighty, let's go to the toilet, shall we? Oh, sorry, Eric. I totally forgot about you. Get to know. There we go. Get to go to the bathroom. Just doing a normal, a normal bathroom thing. Full thorn something to eat oh, I love how she's just got her food mm -hmm. all right so share a secret and you know these guys should really get together I think they should be boyfriend and girlfriend these two are gonna get married they have to they're perfect profess undying love and we should go to a nice little spot 
Maybe under this nice tree they could both go here. And uh, she can ask Eric to to get serious with her. Ask to be boyfriend. There we go. Oh! Yay! That's cute. That's sweet. I think that was definitely well overdue. We're not going to propose yet. I don't think I would like to propose. I think she would like Eric to propose to her. But what we will do is give him a nice kiss. Yes. So life is starting to get positive, and I love how the cow plant milkshake is in the background just there. <laughs> but that's cute. Alrighty, guys. Well, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world, and I'll speak to you soon.